What's going on guys? Rashawn Salam here coming back at you with another video and today we are back on the 49ers franchise. This is the roster that we're dealing with right now. Plenty of rookies in there. In fact, to start the upgrade, we'll be, uh, excuse me, start the video. We'll be upgrading some of those guys with XP that we got in the previous games. We got to get that awareness up eventually. Um, but when we're actually playing the games, awareness doesn't matter as much. I mean, there's an element of it mattering. But it certainly does not matter as much, right? Uh, as VJ Poole goes up to a 78. He let up a couple of sacks last game, if I'm not mistaken. I really like the way these sliders have played so far. This is a little while after I recorded my first episode in this season. So we're going to get that run block up on Spencer Long and the injury rating as well. Because that, that does matter. And it certainly matters for overall, if you guys were not aware. Also, uh, Josiah Mahaffey has to get upgraded. We'll do that. Get him up to a 77 overall. A lot of upgrading to be done, and this is kind of the way I want the franchise to go. So you guys can really see the progression of each and every one of the players that we do have on our roster. And you can see how they, you know, improve over the course of this thing. So we're not going to be playing every game, if you recall. But I feel like we're going to be playing a few games. I really just have to get into a rhythm. And maybe the best way to do it is to record a bunch of games at once. I'm not really sure. Johnny Smith had a great game last week. was so big in our win if you guys have not seen that video um it was a good one a lot of fun to play and we really have to get um our rookies just upgraded and playing at the highest level because uh guys like sanchez heaney have all the talent in the world but we just got to upgrade them make them more refined players and um we got a division matchup against the seattle seahawks coming up as uh josh gordon is going to get up to 80 route running he's looking really nice it really uh, awesome to get him off slow development, but we'll have to see. I'm also considering raising the amount of uh, minutes in each quarter. I think that would probably be for the best, as route running is going to go up a lot on him. Also do awareness. I think we're going to raise it maybe by a minute or two. I mean, the games are at a good length. Um, but I think overall, we could stand to raise it for more realistic stats. That probably wouldn't be the worst thing. We've also made a few changes that I think I'm going to stick with. Uh, as we're, Jesus, Dawson Bailey. Let's get awareness up to a 50. Let's go all in on awareness. Get him up to a 68. So last episode of the 49er franchise was 28 minutes long. That's actually kind of a long episode. Um, maybe we'll keep it. This will be a test run. Can you get the block shit up on Aaron Lynch? Another player that certainly isn't bad. <laughs> Man, I still must be sick because I feel it in my nose when I talk sometimes. So frustrating. Hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. So we're going to get the block shut up on Eric Armstead, who certainly played well over the last few games that we've played. I think we're pretty much fine. Um, but yeah, division matchup. We are going to be playing this against the Seattle Seahawks, playing the full game at CenturyLink. I think the way I want the franchise to work, and we are 76, but I think it, it is a better 76 um, than it lets on. I think we're going to be playing every divisional game and maybe a couple that aren't divisional. So, like, I don't want to play 16 games in a season because I want it to progress a bit faster than that. And I wasn't great before when I was playing every single game because that's a lot of episodes in a franchise, which maybe you guys like. We'll start going to be playing, like, at least eight games per year. Probably 10. Probably 10 to 12. Somewhere in that range. I think that's a little bit better. So, we get every divisional game. So that's two, three, um, so we play three teams twice, that's six games, and then like the first game of the season, the last game of the season, that moves up to eight, and then um, maybe a few more in there, so like eight to ten maybe, then to twelve. I'm not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and get into the Seahawks game. I'm going to stop rambling, this is not really a good judge of how long the episodes are going to be if I have a bunch of stuff in the beginning. All right, here we go. Opening kickoff at CenturyLink. I think we perfect that one, too. And the eight-minute quarters aren't bad. They're just not the best for uh, the most realistic stats. As Lorenzo Jerome gets juked out. Jesus. Somebody tackle him. Here we go. First play of the game. I'm actually dropping back with Solomon Thomas. We didn't contain the edge. That was the one thing I needed to do. And Russell Wilson does not go down. Went for the strip. And, uh, yeah, these sliders are no joke, clearly. As Russell Wilson can bounce off tackles so easily. That's fine, though. All right, no jokes here. Ruben Foster against Thomas Rawls. Remember, I think it was the second episode 
of this uh, of this franchise. We're gonna get there with Ruben Foster, Thomas Rawls, little hamster looking dude, got him down. But the second ever episode in this um, or second week, I think it was against the Seahawks in this franchise of season one, and uh, that was one of the funniest videos I feel like on my channel. We played the Seahawks and got absolutely decimated. Someone make the play. Jeez, I was not expecting the juke there. It just wasn't wasn't great. Third and three though. What are we covering? Throw that at me. He's gonna go right over the top. That's a fantastic throw to Tyler Lockett. So he gets that one in 20 yards on the play. Quarterbacks are overpowered with these sliders. Might have, well, I mean Russell Wilson obviously should be throwing really well. But I think in general. They got ASJ. Doug Baldwin too. I mean knew they had Doug Baldwin, obviously. So that's a run. We're right there. Ruben Foster. Another tackle to his resume. They love running these multiple uh, tight end sets, and they have Druckenmiller. Is that Jim Druckenmiller in the backfield? We're getting there with Ruben Foster. Tackle for loss. Add it to the resume again. I got to figure out different things to say than resume, but uh, I'm certainly good at saying that. Here we go. Third and ten. Big one. CJ Procise is in the game. I'm using Jeremiah George. That's not good ever. Jeremiah George should never be on the field. We're going to stop them, though. It's going to be fourth and six. They're going to try for the field goal. We got Kella Witherspoon out here. We might try and block this. It's kind of a long one, though. Not that long. It's like uh, 51 yards, 52 yards, but still. That's decent, and that one is shanked. That came really close to going in at the end. Um, but, wow. Is that Blair Walsh? I didn't even see who it was. Does Blair Walsh wear number four? I don't know that he does. Oh, my God. It's Fat Randy. <laughs> Fat Randy is the kicker. And he really did not do well on that one at all. We're going to run the ball again, though. We need blockers. Carlos Hyde gets exactly that. Josh Gordon let go. But Carlos Hyde trucking through. Earl Thomas is having none of it, though. As the former Longhorn destroys the former Buckeye. All right, we need the boy John and Smith to get open. That'd be great. Joey Cummings is in the game. And he's going to come in with a vengeance. Oh, my goodness. Cliff Averill got to me. I had nowhere to go. Carlos Hyde is back as Joey Cummings came really quickly and uh, didn't really play much after that. Carlos Hyde, three-yard gain there on second and uh, 13. Now we're going to be third and 10. This looks like a pretty good play. Who do we have out there? Sanchez Heaney's out there. Janu Smith. Might be looking for Janu Smith. I'm going for Josh Gordon, though. And he gets wide open, makes a tremendous catch. Great throw from Jimmy G as well. And that sleeve looks really cool, too. Josh Gordon was made to play in these colors. Here we go. Let's see who gets open. Jimmy G. Carlos Hyde's got to pick up that block. We're going to throw that ball. And, oh my God, Josh Gordon made... No way he kept his feet in bounds. No way. There's no way he caught that. They're going to throw the challenge flag, surely. Are they not? Did Josh Gordon make that? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Josh Gordon. He's on fire. And he's lighting up. Hold on. Throwing Jimmy G to the sideline. Josh Gordon. He got the knee down. Oh my God. Who is this man? Josh freaking Gordon, dude. What a catch. That might be the thumbnail right there, even though these are not how my thumbnails are made. Got the knee down. That was incredible. Josh Gordon making two big diving plays on this drive alone. Setting us up inside the five. And pressure's in there. Jimmy G shakes it off. But can't shake off Michael Bennett. Gets credit for the half sack. And we second goal from the eight. I still can't get over that catch from Josh Gordon. That's why he's our number one. That's an incredible catch. Carlos Hyde up the middle. Touchdown. As we are on the board early. Great drive. As uh, we stop the Seahawks from scoring. Granted, Fat Randy absolutely just missed the field goal by a lot. But we came out here. Had a great drive on offense. Josh Gordon making two really nice plays, including the one to get us inside the five. Set up the touchdown. I, I, I keep talking about it. Like, that was such a good play. I just turned into a machine gun right there. I, 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 I. Jesus, shut up. I might streak Sanchez Heaney. Dual streaks, Josh Gordon, and then Sanchez Heaney up the seam. We're going to step up in the pocket. Look for a guy. There he is. Jimmy G, throw a good ball. Oh, John M. Smith can't reel it in. That ball's a little bit underthrown. I'm not going to lie. Third and four, Joey Cummings is in the game. I'm tempted to hand him the ball. We have blockers that way. We just need them to block. That's open up the middle. 
Joey Cummings makes a man miss. But that block is shed really, really quickly by Shelton Richardson. And there just wasn't anywhere to go. It looked open. That's why I tried to cut it up that way. But uh, couldn't get anywhere. Give me fourth and two and we'll punt. All right. Amara Darbo is now in the game. The Michigan draft pick from a couple years back by the time of this franchise. And we kind of had that responsibility with the balls loose. Recovered by Tyler Lockett. Ray Ray Armstrong has forced two fumbles already on the season. I think he's the only one to force a fumble for us. Seattle is driving, though, as we're getting closer to halftime. They might run the ball with CJ Procise here. We're probably going to play the run. We have flat responsibility. And Russell Wilson's going to take off. He has a ton of space. Somebody destroy him. Oh, my goodness. All right, two minutes to go. Throw to the flat. Oh, my God. He just juked out Reuben Foster. Who it, Russell Wilson is just... I mean, he's averaging over 10 per carry. Like, that's unacceptable. Russell Wilson's going to run. Someone get after him. He jukes out Birdheim. Ray Ray Armstrong makes the tackle, but it's down to the one second and goal. We might think about using our timeouts here in a second. We have enough time. It's to the outside. Thomas Rawls is into the end zone easily, untouched. And they answer with a touchdown of their own. And Solomon Thomas, Bruce Surnum out for the game. Ronald Blair is going to take his place, but that's probably going to be a... Uh... Wait, does Aaron Lynch start on the left end side for us? I think he does. Yeah, Ronald Blair is going to be the best option. That sucks. I'm still trying to score. I mean, we can totally do this. We just need some time. Josh Gordon's open. Make the play. It's... Oh, my goodness. That's a bad decision. I thought uh, thought Camp Chancellor was playing deep, and that ball was uh, not where I wanted it to be. Not where I thought it would be. And now Seattle has a chance to score as Jimmy G tosses a pick. Oh my goodness, that sucks, man. I thought that looked so open to me. I just didn't expect Cam Chancellor to play the ball like that. And Russell Wilson, who the fuck? Stop running! Oh my god, dude. Every single play, it seems. You gonna run the ball again? Probably. I'm not really covering anyone. And Amara Darbo is gonna get into the end zone nearly. Why are we so far back on that? That is a stacked box, and one that we're not going to be able to run the ball against. Looks like some sort of a blitz. Jimmy G's going to roll out. Throw that ball. Oh, my God, that's a traffic. What the fuck am I thinking? Richard Sherman with the interception. He might have a pick six. Yeah, yeah. I just thought on the playmaker I'd be able to just get the ball in there, touch pass it in, and uh, make an incredible throw, and it, that just was not what happened, clearly. As Sanchez Heaney, Sanchez Heaney has an opportunity, oh my god, tackled it by the ankles from behind by Jeremy Lane. Jeremy Lane saved a touchdown, Sanchez Heaney had daylight. Third and ten now, I mean, we're in, we're in a bad spot. We're going to throw that to Josh Gordon, that's a ball, Jimmy, thank you. Thank you. Josh Gordon's there again. That post has been open. I don't know what that... Josh, just leave that at home, Josh. Leave that for when you're high as a kite. We need you to be in game mode for right now. We still have a shot to win this thing. Going underneath. There's Josh Gordon again. We just got to feed the beast. I think five or seven completions have been to Josh Gordon. Yeah, that's correct. Fourth and one. We are going for it. We need blocks. Joey Cummings in the game. Joey Cummings breaks a tackle and doesn't get the first down. The blocks get shed so quickly. I can't. I, 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 there's nothing I can do. I'm. Joey Cummings did as best as he could. He broke a tackle, but there, there's nothing. We got real aggressive there. Field goal was without a doubt the right call, even on fourth and one. We came. A nose short. A nose short. Um, you gotta be fucking serious. When they're in the animation, you can't fucking tackle them. It's literally impossible. And then when he dives, he literally dives in fucking reverse. It's fucking... The one positive you can take is that they scored relatively quickly. But uh, let's go ahead and, and check out that run. So there's the handoff to Carlos Hyde. We can see who I'm controlling, can't we? No, I don't think we can. But I was right there. Went to make the tackle with, uh, who is that? Jaquiski Tart. He gets destroyed. And then look at me with Ray Ray Armstrong. Literally fucking his body. 
in the side. What is that? Ray Ray Armstrong is literally trying to penetrate Thomas Rawls, and there's no animation because he's in a fucking stumble. It's so dumb. And then Eli Harold closing in on, and that's that's how you dive. Literally, let's look at the length of that dive there. Ridiculous. Twenty-four to seven. I mean, they were they're at ninety-one overall. They are like seventy-six or something like that. But this game is not over. I mean, you can hear in my voice. I'm clearly furious, uh, and that's not even sarcasm per usual. I'm actually like pretty mad. Um, this game is not over though. It's far from over. We might go a different look. We might get Carlos Hyde out of here. He's just I feel like he's too slow and he's slowing down the offense. Um, I know that isn't the case. He's just going to be the backup for right now. He'll still probably play in this game. But we just want to get Sanchez Heaney. Not Sanchez Heaney. We want to get Joey Cummings some touches considering the fact that we are down by a decent bit. He is the rookie. We want to see what he can do. And uh, he's shown pretty brightly when he's played. And he comes in first play, rushes for 10. Definitely a nice player. Very, very fast. Fun to play with. Play with coming. Carlos Hyde back in the game for a little bit of power. So we get the first down. And time is ticking actually really, really quickly. I've run two plays and it took nearly a minute. We need something to happen here. We need something to happen. We need a big play. Block! Cliff Averill has enough sacks for an entire season. Here we go. Fourth and 15. Our game is on the line. We're going to throw that ball. Block for literally a second. I'm waiting for one route to develop. One route. Right? One. One. The slant was open. We had the first down. Threw that ball. Waited for him to get in the open field. There it is. There's the pass. There's the first down. And then there's field. There's so much open field, but we're already sacked by that point. Because look at Trent fucking Brown. Literally abused by Michael Bennett. He's going to start calling him daddy because he literally has no time. He literally spanked him. Trent Brown. Looks like Eric Flowers. A revolving door. All I needed was half a second more. I'm throwing the ball. Half a second. If that. Trent Brown can't give me that. Oh my fucking god! That's so fucking dumb. I gotta change these sliders, dude. Like, it's so... it's And the animations are ridiculously bad. Yeah, Thomas Rawls is a one-play touchdown machine because he's literally impossible to tackle because no one gets an animation on him. You literally cannot tackle him. It clearly. We're trying to throw that ball downfield. Sanchez Heaney's too fast. It's a well-thrown ball. I don't believe it. Literally seems like that's impossible to do. We're not in this game really at all. Uh, we're still pushing for the win, though, of course. Snap the ball. Don't wait. Get the offsides. I don't... Trent Brown, get your head out of your fucking ass! Five sacks. Five sacks this game. Trent Brown is literally getting annihilated. Someone block Bobby Wagner. Throw the ball. That's a decent ball. Carlos Hyde. Of course he didn't hang on. Of course he didn't. It's a hard play to make for anyone. We're not going to win every game, clearly. Um, but this is this just feels bad. It's been mistakes, and then there's been, like, nothing we can do on some things. Is Sanchez Heaney going to get a catch there on third and 20? We're out of field goal range uh, by kind of a lot. It's fourth and nine. We are going to go for it. And, um, I mean, any type of score here would be good. Johnny Smith has been not involved at all today. Not sure if there's anything we can do as we are sacked yet again. Trent fucking Brown. Jimmy G's down. Fucking good. I hope he's out for this season. We lose every fucking game from here on out. Fourth and nine. We're going to try for the first down. And we're going to run the ball. As they pretty much know what the play is before I even call it. But there's Joey Cummings. Joey Cummings needs that speed to the second level. Breaks a tackle from Cam Chancellor real quick. But Deshaun Shedd brings him down. 
As a, he has looked sharp today. Second and 16. Joey Cummings. I mean, there's no one blocks. No one gives a shit. I mean, I know we're down 31-7. to seven. Can you guys care at least a little bit? Cliff Averill's already shaking hands with Joey Cummings as if the game's already over, which it has been for many quarters, to be fair. And we keep running a lot of deep stuff, which, I mean, that's my own fault for play calling. Josh Gordon beat his man pretty bad. I, we had to roll out to that side or else we would have gotten sacked. But guess what? Surprise, surprise, fucking sacked again. We've been... Nine sacks. Nine sacks today for the Seahawks. Nine. Smoking Jay going downfield. It's Kalan Adkins. We finally scored. Celebrate Kalan. Down 31 to 7. Make it 31 to 13. Extra point inbound. They want us to go for two. All right. Smoking Jay. Dominant. We're throwing that ball. It's Kalan Adkins again with the two-point conversion. He's hype. We're only losing uh, by a ton. All right, 16 points, Kalan. Looking like that is going to be the game. 31 to 15 will be your final score. The Seahawks go in a victory formation. They won't even have to get it off. Um, let's go over the stats of the game so we can kind of dissect what happened here. Russell Wilson threw the ball away and then threw the ball over the head of Thomas Rawls, who was incompetent. Those were his two misses on the entire game. Jimmy Garoppolo, two interceptions also injured in the game. Uh, both my fault. One stupid decision. One I thought was not a stupid decision. Jay Cutler played amazingly. He's smoking Jay. What do you expect? Two attempts and a touchdown. Thomas Rawls, we locked up for the entire first half, and then he became unstoppable. Because he has an invisible wall around him every time you try to tackle him. Carlos Hyde was horrific. Joey Cummings was very good. And it's not even Carlos Hyde was not horrific. The offensive line is non-existent. However, you see that Joey Cummings had more uh, more yards after contact. Broke two tackles on the same amount of, uh, same amount of attempts. Averaged more yards per carry. Russell Wilson was unbelievable because he just runs a lot. Smoking Jay, of course. I mean, not much you can say. He was pretty awesome. Josh Gordon led our team in the game in catches with five for 70 yards. Kalan Adkins, two catches for 74 yards. Also had a two-point conversion and a touchdown. That was great. Let's look at blocking. Let's see this fucking abysmal trash. VJ Poole led up two sacks or three. Trent Brown was awful the entire game. Three. Zach Kubiak with one. Uh, and our tight ends led up the other ones. Defensively, Reuben Foster was all over the field with uh, 10 tackles, two for lost sacks. Cliff Averill had four, two and a half for Michael Bennett, one for KJ Wright, one for Sheldon Richardson, half a sack for Jeremy Lane. Interceptions, Richard Sherman and Cam Chancellor uh, got the two. Ray Ray Armstrong forced a fumble. We didn't recover, obviously, and Richard Sherman had the pick six. Um, not the end of the episode just yet, as we are going to uh, simulate the next week and then maybe potentially another week after that. Sliders have to get changed. I mean, there's nothing else I can say. The offensive line isn't so bad um, where they should be getting absolutely brutal, brutalized every single play. Trent Brown has 81 pass block. He shouldn't be giving up that many sacks per game. VJ Poole has 77 pass block. Still shouldn't be that many. Um, it was absolutely terrible to watch. There's no run blocking at all. I mean... VJ Poole, who has 84 run block. I mean, couldn't run block for shit. Zaya Mahaffey um, had a decent game, I guess. Pass block, run block. 77 for Trent Brown. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't great. Um, and then you have the quarterbacks that we play against are unstoppable. They're unstoppable. Jimmy Ward is awful, by the way. He is so bad. Was getting... Not torched, but, like, he didn't cover anyone because he can. He has no zone, limited man, slow development. He's honestly useless to me at this point. We might try and trade him, but that's maybe for next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Was I kind of mad this episode? Was this enjoyable to watch? Probably not. Shit, don't